Cancers. Hi, hello, it's Robin. Here to do a mid-month July reading for you. I'm going to start your reading with um, A Wisdom of the Hidden Realms. So we can get a theme of what's going on in your energy right now. And then love cards to go with it. And then other cards to read with it. I'm going to start with my spray on my hands as I do. This spray bottle needs to be refilled. This is my sacred anointing mist. It's got Palo Santo Nag Champa. Oh, God, it's so amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Wonderful. So let me hit my solar plexus bell as usual. Opening, shifting the energies, grounding the reading in with Reiki energy. Coming in with an open mind, an open spirit, an open heart for Cancers, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Taking a look at the energies for them. Spirit guiding into the messages, please, for the Cancers. The message showing up for you is take, you have to take your time right now. Take small steps. Don't don't work so hard. Don't work so fast at love right now. You have master number 33. Know when enough is enough and know when to ask for help. The message for you is um, give me just a second. It takes a minute to find it. Okay. Okay, Cancers, when the camel boy comes as your ally, he reminds you that asking for help will bring in the right people to ease the burden of your life. Perhaps a wise person appears to give you advice. Maybe you're moving and suddenly a couple of friends offer to give you a hand with your packing. Or you want information about someone and you just happen to run into his former partner who gives you the knowledge you need to make the decision you've been weighing. No matter the issue, this is a sign that if you ask, you will receive what you need. Synchronicity is engaged when you request assistance. The camel boy never lets you down when you ask for help in lightening your load. Now is the time to do so and to expect to get it. As a challenger, the camel boy challenges you to stop the course of action you're on and get... get oh, okay, it's not a challenger. Never mind. My bad. Huh? We're not perfect. We're just we're just messengers, my loves. So you have uh, this very strong message about asking for help. Let's take a look at the Romance Angels for Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. Show me the energy spirit. I have to tell you something. These two red balloons, this one popped out. Religious factors. Beliefs that are different. Coming to understand each other's faith. Tell me why this person needs help. Tell me about love. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Depends. Let's see what the tarot says, too. You also got engagement. Now, I've seen this before with cancers. Your, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So some of you are being asked by someone of a different nationality or perhaps a different faith to be with them. Let's see what else the Romance Angels say to you guys. One moment. Cancer, Summon, Rising, and Venus, May, July. Cancer, Summon, Rising, and Venus, May, July. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations with one another. So somebody, somebody has met somebody. Um, they really need to have a sincere discussion about their feelings. They have to. You need to ask for help. Somebody, somebody needs to intervene on your behalf somehow. I'm using the Gilded Reverie Lenormans to clarify more of the story of what's going on here. Thank you, Spirit, for your guidance and this really wonderful, interesting reading. Help me to understand it and to bring the, convey the proper messages for the Cancer Nation that hears this. It could be seen by cross watchers. I appreciate you very much. I'm not putting up with negativity because it's not being pointed at anybody in particular. Unless you relate to every single piece of this reading 100%. Um, and you need healing. I'm here for you to do readings, okay? To look into whatever you need to heal and work on. Okay. 
And if I can't handle it, I will bless you anyway. So at the bottom of the deck, you have someone being very, very strong at this moment. I don't understand. I've been, uh, I've been through some changes, and I need to make some changes again. This is spiritual power. This is commitment. This is the strength to change something in your life and experience. What else? You don't want to have to wear a mask. You feel like somebody might be being a little dishonest to you. Maybe it's because you don't understand their culture, and you don't want to wear a mask. No doubt, Cancer. Also, you have someone who just can't, can't reach each other. There's a lack of communication, lack of finding. There's a lot of blockages in the way of this connection. Hmm. I don't know who I'm reading for. It's kind of interesting, isn't it? So let me pull the tarot and see what this is. Hmm. So tell me Cancer's energy and the person they're dealing with here. It goes with this particular message because, hmm. Let's see, Cancers. Okay. Tell me about this message, this feel, the feeling of having to put on a face. Someone's hurting and not talking about it. Someone has maybe demeaned you to the point where you don't want to ever, ever, ever put up with that again. Ten of Swords is obviously. Now, that is representative of air sign energy. I don't see anybody in particular when I'm reading this to you. Jesus, man, did you see that? Three of Wands. Wow. That was amazing. They just went flying. What does that mean? I know what it means. It means Robin needs to shuffle better. <laughs> Cancers, we have someone who's waiting for something else to come in. Someone who's waiting for an answer, waiting for a message, waiting for a new opportunity, waiting for a commitment. Could also be putting up with a third-party energy. doesn't have to be a lover. It could be a mother, a father, a brother, a sister, a preacher. It could be a, somebody in the background kind of like not supporting you. That bothers me. My spirit is bothered by this. I'm sorry. If you're getting this message, it was meant for you because I'm feeling the uh, empathy for you. Ten of Wands, a lot of burden, and Ten of Swords, a lot of burden for something. That's, um, I put a lot of energy into this, and all I ever got, get out of it is pain. I don't even want to be found. I, I know we need to talk, and I've been very strong so far, but I'm not sure. This is a completely different energy, all right, from the rest of the reading. We'll read that separately. So tell me about um, Cancer. Cancer's feeling the pain. See, look. Five of Swords in reverse. I'm leaving it behind me. I'm not going back there. Ever, ever, ever again. Tell me about the Three of Wands. Four of Cups in reverse. Now you're starting to turn your heart around and see that there's a little more for you. But, you, you know, you can lose hope, but I wouldn't. You're having a hard time deciding what to do with your energy. You're having a hard time deciding your path. You may need to let your friends help you, and you may need to have to meditate and pray to find your path. Take small steps. Ask for help. Tell me about this heart-to-heart um, -heart conversations up here. Somebody isn't speaking. Then, they, then the um, page of wands is in reverse. Someone's not being cannot be reached. Tell me about uh, the labyrinth. That's seven of swords in reverse. That seven, seven, four and three is seven. So you have someone who, um, mischief maker, this person that you were with was causing you so much grief. Let's talk about the future for cancer now. So you've made a decision to be very strong now and ask for help. You're, you're tired of putting on a face. You're not going back there. You're a beautiful soul. And you, you don't believe like them. You don't believe they should treat you like that. You deserve so much better. You will have to tell them eventually. Um, you're not in a big hurry at the moment to talk to them because it hurts you so damn bad. But let's talk about the beauty of your life now. The world is here to show there's a new opportunity coming, that you're going to be able to go through this. You've created this portal yourself by your will, desire, your words, your actions, and your speech. Tell me about the engagement card for Cancers, please. 
the emperor. This is you owning yourself. This is you finding finding somebody that's worthy of your energy, of your attention, that can take that will believes like you, that supports you, that understands you, Cancer. And you wait until you find this one. This is the emperor, and this could be Taurus or it could be Aries. It doesn't have to be. It could be someone even in power. Okay, clarify a little more about their future love energy. Oh, still kind of mourning the past. It was pretty dramatic. Come on. If you're going through that, that's pretty dramatic. Clarify this Five of Cups, please, for Cancer's energy. Three of Swords in reverse. It's just so damn painful. All them swords in your reading. But you have the Emperor here. You have the World card. You have the Camel Boy. And you have the spiritual power, the Gusto. You're not going to play games anymore. You're done playing games. You're now going to be happy. You, you found you will be... You'll be changing your life and your energy is shifting. You're powerful at this time. As long as you are committed to yourself, you're going to attract someone that will commit to you. And this will be someone that is very lovely um, in the spirit world. And um, they're a powerful person. They make things happen. They're quick to make decisions. They know they want you. And they're willing to bet money on it. Three of coins, build with you. Somebody wants to build with you. They will build in the future. Clarify. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We want to talk about love for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And the energy is in the middle of July. Six of Pentacles in reverse. Things are a little bit in the upside down right now. You're not feeling things are totally fair at the moment. You're not getting back what you put into something. But that's disturbing in itself that the Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy is in reverse. And it's like somebody's not paying paying you what you're worth. Clarify. But you're worth so much more. But you see, there's a divine message here that it's coming. Your blessing is coming. That is from the heavens. That is after much prayer and much hardship, much spiritual work, much releasing, much asking for help. Going into meditation and, and rest. Those of you who do not are going to continue to feel this. Until you learn how to keep your armor on, spiritual armor on, knowing you've been through a lot of pain and heartbreak, there's your three of swords. Don't don't stay there, damn, you know. Let yourself have a break from it. Now, you're always ready to go, you know, and fight for love. But you got to stop letting it hurt you, Right? It's not completely disappointing. It's just reinvent yourself is what I'm hearing. Tell me. Not, uh, yeah. So, Spirit just said to me, just pull a moon allergy card on this and to tell you that um, you're, you're, you're highly favored at this time because your cries have been heard. Your pain has been heard by the universe. And God is giving you something new right now. He's giving you abundance, and you will get it. Um, each one of you, it's going to be a different scenario because of your, um, this may not apply to all of you, or the whole story might not. If this is your whole story, oh, my God, you need a reading. Like, really, we have to look and see what it's going to come out for you. And take a look at some of your energies and um, bring in guidance just for you. Here we go. The moon energies, which are moods, are take time to breathe out four swords. Don't let pride get in your way. Don't let pride get in your way. Balance spirituality and practicality. Have faith in your dreams. You can do it. And one more. A fiery climax approaches. If it hasn't already happened, because you deserve not to be abused. And you've been abused, and you know it, and the spirit world knows that you need comfort at this time. So may you find the comfort that you need. I would like to bring you answers if you'd like them. I love you very, very much, Cancers. And I hope you to find this kind of love right here, where you have faith in your dreams. You can have this the power. Ask for help. Balance spirituality, practicality. That's powerful prayer life there. Going through the world, making a whole new world for yourself, having faith in yourself, 
having faith in your dreams, um, not having pride, taking time to meditate and pray, um, and no matter what happens, okay, because you've got something wonderful coming. Look at the Ace of Coins. The Emperor shows up, offers you an engagement, and now you got a family. And that's what I see. I love you. Namaste. Bye.